Okay, hi. Um, here we have a scene, and um, this is a trap object. I may, yeah, named it that because uh, that would be some area which we wouldn't want the AI to traverse during certain scenarios. Uh, so what we could do about that um, would be to first uh, create a graph update scene. So let's check what it looks like without anything added. We would get yeah an image here, and the AI can walk yeah walk anywhere basically. And then, if I add a graphite scene, I configured it so it should disable all nodes within this red shape here. That would generate this. So you can see some nodes are set to disabled. But there are some areas, especially this here, which is not set to disabled because that's outside the um, the shape of the the um, graph update scene object, and that's a problem because nav meshes they contain triangles, and they usually don't end where you would want them to end, or sometimes at least. So you see here we have two triangles which intersect the object. And so we could walk into that area, which is bad because we don't want that. So how to fix that? Uh, the way to fix that with recast generated nav meshes would be to introduce a split right here. Uh, so the correct nodes would get, would be disabled. So you can do that with a recast mesh object and setting the area to something other than zero because the default area is zero so everything here has an area of zero setting this to one uh, would say that okay this mesh should be separate from the rest so if we play we can see now it is a it has generated a split here yeah i don't know if you can see that well on the video but uh, there is a split in the dimension right there. And you can see that there are a few more nodes inside here. And that's because, yeah, there is a node here and here that are also disabled. So now uh, I can't enter the object with the, with the path anymore. Uh, because, yeah, there are no, no walkable nodes intersecting the object, which is great. Uh, so what else can you do with the area field? Uh, you can set it to negative one, and that has the effect of um, that is the effect of uh, making that area unworkable. So or rather removing it from the from the mesh altogether. So if we play now, we'd get this, and you see that there is no nav mesh generated over that area. And that could be useful in some cases, I guess. Um, oops, sorry. So if you have, you can have multiple of these. If I remove the graph update scene objects now, right now for a moment. You see now I have set both to have an area of one. So if we play now, <coughs> yeah, you can see here that there is no split generated between them because they have the same area, but there is a split generated between uh, this area, which is area one, and this area, which is area zero. And if I would set this to two. you would see that it has generated a split between this area, area 1, and this area, area 2, and also between area 0 and area 2. Uh, yeah, that's it basically. Um, use area to introduce yeah, splits in the geometry of the NAMESH.